Dear students, welcome. Today, I am going to solve only one problem. The problem is this. Find the equations of the straight lines parallel to the straight lines. 2x square minus 6y minus 6y square plus 7x plus 21y minus 15 equal to 0. And passing through the point 0, 0. And uh, one student requested me to solve this problem on the com comment section. I am going to solve this problem only <coughs> today. You see, this equation represents a pair of straight lines. It can be verified easily. If you compare this equation with ax square plus twice hxy plus by square plus twice gx plus twice fy plus c equal to zero, then you will find that abc plus twice of gh minus a f square minus bg square minus c a square equal to zero. Consequently, this equation will represent a pair of straight lines. From this, uh, this means that it represents two pair of straight lines. We can first we can uh, we find the equations of the uh, of the straight lines. If these two straight lines are parallel and passing through this, we shall uh, let us uh, proceed. Let us proceed. The given equation is the given equation is twice x square minus x y minus 6 y square plus 7 x plus 21 y minus 15 equal to 0. This equation represents a pair of straight lines. It represents two straight lines. Multiply, multiply this equation by 2. Multiply 1 by 2 we get. Multiplying 1 by 2 we get not multiplying 1 by 2 we get if you multiply this equation by 2 then you will get twice x square minus twice xy minus 12 y square plus 14 x plus 42 y minus 30 equal to 0 you will get this one now this may be written as twice x whole square plus two times of twice x you will have to multiply this by minus y by two to get this term to get this term you will have to multiply it by this <coughs> plus minus y by two whole square at this term plus two times of twice x into 7 by 2 multiply this one plus 2 times of <coughs> minus y by 2 into 7 by 2 7 by 2 multiply this minus 7 by 2 plus 7 by 2 whole square right it has 7 by 2 whole square this is equal to this term we should uh, add this term minus y by 2 whole square since we add it in the uh, left hand side minus y by 2 whole square we have written this term this term and this term <coughs> minus y by 2 whole square also this term plus 2 times of minus y by 2 into 7 by 2 you will have to add this term also you will have to add 7 by 2 whole square on both sides also this term. plus if you take it uh, to the right hand side you will get 12y square minus 42y plus 30 42y plus 30. Perhaps we have written this means you see this one a square plus b square plus c square 
<coughs> plus twice AB plus twice BC plus twice C into A. Uh, A square plus B square plus C square plus twice AB plus twice AC plus twice BC. Therefore, left hand side, you may write twice x minus y by 2 plus 7 by 2 whole square. You may write like this. And in the left hand side, uh, in the right hand side, y square by 4 plus this one. 1 by 4 plus 12 into y square y square <coughs> this two two will be cancelled minus 42 plus 7 by 2 y 42 plus 7 by 2 y plus 49 by 4 plus 30 you will get this one plus you get this one <coughs> Now, <coughs> this means twice x minus y by 2 plus 7 by 2 whole square, this is equal to 49, 49 by 4, 7 y by 2 whole square minus 84 plus uh, 7, 91. 91 by 2 y plus 120 plus 49 169 by 4 169 divided by 4 this is equal to 7 y by 2 whole square minus 2 times of 7 y by 2 into 13 by 2 you may write like this 2 2 will be cancelled 2 will be uh, on the denominator and 13 into 7 91 plus 13 by 2 whole square you will get this and uh, <coughs> this means twice x minus y by 2 plus 7 by 2 whole square this is equal to 7 y by 2 minus 13 by 2 whole square whole square this means twice x minus y by 2 plus 7 by 2 this is equal to plus minus 7 y by 2 hmm, minus 13 by 2 13 by This means, therefore, the lines are lines represented by one R. R twice x minus y by two plus seven by two minus seven y by two plus thirteen by two equal to zero and and. And twice x minus y by 2 plus 7 by 2 plus 7 y by 2 minus 13 by 2 equal to 0. That is, that is twice x minus 8y by 2 means minus 4y. Uh, 20 by 2 means plus 10 equal to 0 and twice x 
uh, it will be you know six y by two thrice y plus thrice y and it will be definitely uh, 13 minus 6 6 minus 6 by 2 minus 3 minus 3 equal to 0 thus <coughs> Therefore, the lines uh, from this equation you may write it as x minus twice y plus 5 equal to 0. Therefore, the lines represented by 1 are the lines represented by 1 are x minus twice y plus 5 equal to 0 and twice x plus thrice y minus 3 equal to 0 thrice y minus 3 this is equal to 0 now <coughs> in the question <coughs> any line parallel to this parallel to this and this and passing through 0 0 passing through 0 0 now any <coughs> any line now you may write it write it as the slope of the line of the line 2 what is the slope of the line 2 is m1 equal to 1 by 2 convert this equation to the form y is equal to mx plus c y equal to mx plus c it will be definitely the slope will be m1 equal to the slope of the line 3 is m2 equal to what will be this? minus 2 by 3 minus 2 by 3 now you see, you see that we have to find now you see that we have to find two equations whose slopes are 1 by 2 and minus 2 by 3 also passing through the point 0 0 passing through the point 0 0 will be equal to y is equal to mx will be of the form y equal to mx any line therefore any line parallel to 2 2 and passing through 0 0 0 0 will be y minus half of x equal to 0 suppose this is number 4 4 equal to 0 also any line parallel to 3 and passing through 0 0 will be now line parallel to 3 passing through the not it remove the let's say any line parallel to 2 and passing through 0 0 will be this also line parallel to 3 and passing through 0 0 0 0 will be y plus 2 by 3x equal to 0 y by plus 2 by 3x equal to 0 now the combined equation of 4 and 5 is therefore the combined equation equation of 2 and 3 no no combined equation of 4 and 5 equation of 4 and 5 will be y minus half of x into y plus 2 by 3x equal to 0 this is the combined equation combined equation of 4 and 5 will be this this means y square 
plus 2 by 3 minus half xy minus 1 by 2 into 2 by 3 x bar equal to 0. This means y square plus 6 4 minus 3 x y minus 1 by 3 x bar equal to 0. This means 6 y square plus x y minus twice x square equal to 0 twice x square equal to 0 which is the required equation which is the required equation 6 y square plus x y minus twice x square equal to 0 which is the required equation thank you dear students